blah, 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 blah. I can't wait for this to be over, right? You can't blame the child for thinking like this because it, we didn't introduce it the correct way. How much way should we introduce the Let me tell you the story. Nine-year-old girl, her name is uh, Reem. What's her name? What's her name? Reem. Reem walks into the office of her mother. It's the mother, the father, and Reem, the nine-year-old. She walks in. My mother's like this. She had something. Yes, dear, can I help you? What are you doing? Nothing, nothing. What do you need, honey? Nothing. What are you doing? Hmm. Well, I'm writing, she just said, I'm writing a letter. To who? To God. Oh, can I see? No. Okay. Green leaves. The mother goes back into her thoughts. What am I going to do about my husband? What am I going to do about my husband? She leaves the room, she goes down, she sees her husband sitting down, feet on the couch. And she's going like this, and the husband says, Honey, I'm so sorry, I, I, I know I'm stressing you out. My, my physical condition will get better. I, I promise you. Uh, and, and when it does get better, I'll take care of everything this way. She says, uh, oh, oh man, oh honey, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean no, that's not what that's not why I'm that's not why I'm upset. Yeah. I'm upset because the 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 uh, uh, the paper came today in the mail from the doctor and the doctor is saying that you have a problem with your heart. That's why you're 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 in this condition. You you can't do whatever you need to do. And he's saying that you have three weeks to live. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be a single mother trying to raise uh, what's her name? Reem. And I I, don't, I I really don't know what to do. Why she's talking to him? Reem walks downstairs. They become silent. She walks up to her dad, she kisses her dad on the cheek. <clears throat> she, she leaves. She shows him that affection. As she leaves the father, the tears start coming down his, his cheeks. You know, it, it's only so much he can do for his daughter that he's unable to do it. The, the girl wakes up in the morning. The dad is there, covered in his blanket, looking, looking miserable and awkward. And they haven't told that he made anything. She comes over, she kisses the father, and she says, uh, you know, Dad, when are you going to start taking me to schools like every father does? I see all these fathers dropping their, their daughters off at school, and I'm the only one, you know, my mother drops me off. He says to her, in, in due time, as soon as I get better, in due time, I will. So the mother says, Arim, come on, let's go. She gets in the car, and the mother sees the need to tell her daughter the, the, the problem. She says, you know, Arim, you're, you're, you're old enough right now to, to know, and she is nine years old. You're old enough to know that uh, your father has three weeks to live, and the only reason he doesn't do what he does is because... Uh, He's got this ailment in his heart that's not going to allow him to take you out and drop you off school and to play with you. And how do you explain something like that to, to a child? And then and, and Irene looks at her mother and says, well, 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 what, what do I do? He says, you know, uh, Irene, just pray for him. All I can tell you is pray for him. Drops her off at school, comes back, and she's... The, the lady sees the doctor at her house. Uh, her husband's situation is getting worse. <clears throat> so, one of those days, about two weeks later, uh, she dropped off. Reem got in the morning, kissed her dad, felt very happy, went to school. When the mother was at home, she always thought, you know what, I need to, to go inside my daughter's 
haven't been in my daughter's room. I want to see what... She's sitting there for hours in her room. I want to know what, what my daughter is doing. Opens up the door, thinks about it. Should I walk in? <clears throat> Will my daughter forgive me for Ah, Let me see what she's doing. Opens up the door, walks inside. <clears throat> she sees a small... A small box. Underneath the, the bed. It's like a... What do they call those boxes? Put stuff in it. Like a special box for the <coughs> little kids that they use. She opens up the box. And like a chest. She She's a pile of papers. She opens up the first paper like this. She says, a letter from Reem, the God. God, uh, my neighbor's dog scares me. I, I'd like him to die. Interesting. Okay. There's another one. From, from Reem to Allah, to God. You know, my cousin, I like my cousin. I want him to pass his exams. Oh, that's a good, that's a good supplication. Put on the side. Our neighbor's cat uh, lost a lot of kittens. Can you please give her more kittens? Interesting. I like my teacher, and I want to give her a flower, a rose, every day. Can you make the garden in our, in our backyard grow, grow more flowers? The mother puts down, and then she suddenly realizes every letter that was written became true. The, dog, the, neighbor, the neighbor's dog died, the kitten got more kittens, uh, more flowers, and Reem was picking up a flower on a daily basis to give her to her, to her teacher. So she started going through the paperwork one by one. She's looking for a paperwork that says, cure my, cure my who? Cure my father. She's looking through the papers. She couldn't find it. She, said, she can't explain. It's unexplainable. What, what's the situation? How come she didn't pray for her father? And then she hears the phone ring. And her husband yells at her to hurry down the stairs and come downstairs. She leaves everything, everything the way she, it is. She goes downstairs, picks up the, the phone. Hello, ma'am. This is the school. We regret to inform you that your daughter was taken a rose, a flower, to her teacher who was absent. And she fell off the fourth floor and died phone falls from her hand. It just falls to the ground. All these memories working in her mind. She looks at her husband. She says, we have lost our child. And couldn't handle himself. Immediately had a stroke. He couldn't speak no more. And it was, it was a situation of she totally, totally forgot about the, the, the letters and everything. Everything was put back in the box. Everything was sealed. The door was locked and it was shut. And to the mother it was a miserable years to come. And every time she walks downstairs, she talks to her husband. <clears throat> she remembers her nine-year-old daughter that she worked all her life for. All she had in this world was, was her daughter. Years later, she left that room locked. Years later, she was walking by that room, wearing all black. She hears a noise in the room. My God, is am I hallucinating? Is or, or is Reem is Reem back? Oh my God, I think I'm losing it. I haven't left. I haven't let that go. I haven't let the fact that my daughter was lost. My curiosity forced her to open the door. And as soon as she opened the door, she looked over her child's bed and just threw herself in the bed. Started crying and crying and crying. After she was done crying, she says, but what, what caused that, that, that commotion in, in, the, in the bed? She looks and there was a frame with a Quranic writings that fell. And that's what actually caused the commotion it felt. 